Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Newt Newt, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a TTS pal to your stream who will read out all your text-to-speech messages. This is an updated tutorial for OBS 28.0.3, as many of you had commented that the previous version had stopped working. This tutorial is pretty much identical to the last one. It still only uses two image sources, one plugin, and one browser source. But I have slowed it down a lot more, and I've added a bunch of updated links to the description. And the first updated link that you're going to want to click, actually, is this one for Isaiah Creati's bot. This one, it's going to say log into Twitch. You're going to do that, and it'll give you this go to dashboard button. You're going to want to go to your dashboard and then go to your rewards. This is going to start modifying channel point rewards that you have on your Twitch account. Now, you have to be Twitch partner or Twitch affiliate for this to work. If you're not, I'm sorry, this tutorial is not going to work for you. There are other ways to get TTS to work, most likely through stream elements. And other than this step, it's probably going to be identical. But for this, what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says add new reward. And you're going to want to start adding a TTS reward. I already have one, so I'm going to call it TTS demo. I'll just write test here in the description. You're going to want to set the cost to whatever you want. I actually usually keep mine at 500. And then you're going to want to check off that viewers have to enter text because that's how they're going to put in their text to speech. It's going to press create. It's going to give you this new one down in the bottom left hand corner. You're going to want to press add features, add features and text to speech. I like to keep all my settings here at their default, but you can change the voice, the volume, the character limit, and whether or not it reads the username. I will say though with Isaiah Creati, Though it is free, there is a limit to the number of characters you can use. I, as a small streamer, never run into this problem of running out of characters, but if you're someone larger, you might want to take that into account. You can purchase more through their Isaiah Creati Plus, but for me, the defaults are fine. The last thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to head to your profile right over here. This is where you're going to have your alert page URL. You're going to want to copy this because this is going to be the browser source where you get all your audio. Right, I'm going to head back to OBS and we're going to start adding this browser source. Now I'm going to have to block mine out because this is sensitive. You don't want to share this with anyone, but there it is. You press add and then you want to add control audio via OBS. It's going to be in between height and custom CSS. Once you press all that, you're done. The last thing you need to do for this, you need to go into the advanced audio properties. It's going to be this cog at the bottom of your audio mixer. And you're going to want to have monitor to monitor and output. So you're going to be able to hear your own TTS volume. That's it for that. If you're not hearing it, you might have to adjust your monitoring device to be your default headphones. But other than that, the browser source should be done. Next up, you're going to want to start adding your images. You're going to need two images for this. I'm going to be calling them TTS on and TTS off. We'll get to TTS off later. But you're going to want to browse for an image. I have these two that I've commissioned. I actually never use them. So for TTS on, you're going to want to have your mouth open. And for TTS off, you're going to want to have your mouth closed. Just like that. The next step is going to be adding filters to these images. The way that our plugin is going to be turning these on and off is by adjusting a chroma key filter. You're going to add a chroma key filter and just turn opacity all the way down. That's it. You can copy this right here, copy and go to the other one, go to filters and then paste it. And you should see that there is no more images over here. That means you did something right. As for the sources inside OBS, that's it. I like to add these all into one big group right here. You can go group, I'll call it TTS. And throw all these items inside because that way when you move them, they all move in sync. You want to have those two images always stacked on top of each other and matching. And this will just make it a little bit easier. You can group them all together. One nice little box. But yeah, that's it. Next step is going to be adding the plugin. I have it right here installed. Are you going to double click to start installing it from the link down in the description? It's going to open up this install wizard. You can press yes. I already have it installed, so I'm going to cancel out. But when it loads up, you're going to go through all this next, 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 you know. And then it's going to install right up here. It's going to be called Advanced Scene Switcher. 
Yeah, click it, and it's going to give you this window right here. It's probably going to have a pop-up saying it's your first time, but this is what you're going to want to get to. Now, you're going to have something over here that's going to be flashing red saying inactive. You're going to press this button, which says start, and it's going to activate advanced scene switcher. Then you're going to want to head to this macros tab right here. This is what's going to actually be turning on and off the images. So now you're going to press add. Call it TTS on. Have it match the images that you used before. It just makes things a little bit easier. And you want to add under the first panel. So if audio output volume of the browser source that you added is above, I like to put it around 25% right there. Then you're going to want to add your then, all that stuff. So you're going to want to go to Filter, on TTS on, you don't want to disable the chroma key. Disabling the chroma key. So that way the image appears. So yeah, TTS on, disable chroma key. You want to do the same thing, but now for TTS off, you're going to want to enable the chroma key, making it so that way it's invisible. Then you're going to duplicate this macro, call it TTS off. and put in the opposites of everything. So instead of above, it's going to be below. Instead of disable, it's going to be enable. Instead of enable, it's going to be disable. You should now see your character with their mouth closed. And surprisingly, that's it. That is all there is to it. We can test it right here by going here, checking our TTS demo, and saying, hi, this is TTS. Hi, this is TTS. And that's it. Done, just like that. Pretty simple if you ask me. Well, anyway, as you can see, working in, in the latest version of OBS, same plugins, same filters, pretty much the same procedure. All it is, some updated links. But this is a very, it's much nicer. My other videos were uploads from my TikTok, right, where I'd originally posted these tutorials. I'm just want to say here at the end, thank you everybody so much for the support on those other two videos. It was kind of funny. I originally had created them for TikTok, but then re-uploaded them to YouTube thinking, eh, whatever, maybe someone will see them. And actually they were even more successful on here. So thank you so much for that. If it ever breaks again, you know, pester me in the comments. You know, I'll see if I can figure it out because I'm going to be definitely, I'm definitely going to want to figure it out for myself. Definitely makes it a big motivator. This is my whole reason why I updated to the latest version of OBS. I was a little scared this would break. But we have a solution now, everybody. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time OBS updates and this stops working again. All right, bye-bye.